If you subscribed to me for a while or watched pretty much any of my Skyrim related videos this year, you'll remember that basically all throughout this year, I've been telling you that Skyrim is getting a new marketplace update in 2023. SteamDB was getting almost daily updates called Marketplace, which pointed to an update which is now finally official. Late last night, Bethesda put out a tweet that said the following. We're planning an extended maintenance window for in-game mods and Creation Club services starting the morning of November 29th. During this downtime, Skyrim mods and Creation Club content you have already downloaded will still be accessible along with the game. However, players won't be able to access the mods and Creation Club services or be able to change mod load orders. The Skyrim Mods website will also undergo maintenance during this window and the ability to upload content from the creation kit will be temporarily unavailable. We thank you for your patience during this longer maintenance window and encourage you to keep an eye on our official Bethesda Game Studios Discord and website for more updates. Now, so far this is looking like a Skyrim only update, however in Bethesda's Discord they also posted this statement in their Fallout Mods channel. So I would assume that this also applies for Fallout 4, but it is very weird that they haven't corrected this tweet yet, if that is the case. But th this is it. They're officially putting out this weird change and update for Skyrim that we've been seeing on SteamDB for pretty much all of this year. This could be Bethesda adding in that new marketplace for Skyrim. And for me, there are three pretty big takeaways from this news. Number one, obviously again, yes, Skyrim is being updated yet again, and it will likely break some of our mods, but more importantly, the SteamDB updates that Bethesda have been putting out this last year or so have been titled Marketplace like I've been mentioning, and this could be it. This could be Skyrim's new marketplace incoming. For those of you unaware, it seems like Bethesda have had a Creation Club overhaul idea for a while now. We learned a while ago from a modder who made some Creation Club content that Bethesda has had a sort of Creation Club 2.0, if you will, in the plans for a while now, where modders will be able to upload their mods and charge money for said mods for all of us to buy. Now, the other major takeaway here is that this does not include Fallout 4, or at least the original statement didn't. We do know that Bethesda have had that next-gen update planned, apparently for this year, although it's still nowhere to be seen and has likely been pushed to 2024, which I also keep talking about on the channel. We will see new Creation Club content coming with that update, which might include a Fallout 4 version of this store, but of course that is just me speculating. Now the third major thing from this is that this likely means that Starfield is getting a marketplace too, which obviously has been heavily rumoured for a very long time now, so I won't bore you with the details on that. Look, whenever we've spoken about this update on the channel, I always tell you the same thing, that I just don't really know what to think about this whole marketplace idea, because on the one hand, some mods are worth money. Look at the gigantic, basically brand new games that get added in with mods, such as Fallout London that's coming soon, or Beyond Skyrim, or Sky Oblivion. I would happily play for fully optimised versions of these mods like their DLC. Like I really would because they're so well done and put together. So if we see a store get added into Bethesda games and it was major mods like this, then honestly I'm happy for it. And on the plus side, this could be a way to get these major mods on consoles for Xbox and PlayStation players. Because Sony didn't allow mods, or at least not real mods, on their console. But if Bethesda make a store of them, then technically it's not mods and it's DLC, you get the point. However, with that said, on the other side of the hand, I know for a fact that this store is going to get filled to the rim with crappy mods like the Pip-Boy skins that we have in Creation Club, or the really basic new outfits or weapons that we have in the Creation Club. All things that you can honestly find better versions of on the Nexus, so I'm really torn. Obviously from a business point of view, of course I can understand it, we can all understand it from a business point of view, but as fans, yeah, I don't know man, I'm torn here. But as the tweet basically said, this is happening on November 29th, so in just a few days now, so if you are currently building yourself a new load order slash mod list, then try and get it done beforehand so you can still use it when this update releases. I don't know if the end result will break it anyway, but hey, let's hope not because I literally 
just made a brand new load order like three days ago. But anyway, obviously a super quick video for you all today just to update everybody on what's going on. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave it a like. It really helps out in more ways than you can imagine. And of course, if you do want to keep staying fully up to date on Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Starfield, and just Bethesda in general, then consider subscribing. I've got you fully covered. Lastly, as always, a huge, massive thank you to our channel members. I'm sorry it took me so long to update the banner, guys, but it's done now, as you can see. Anyway, with all of that said and done, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Peace.